Hi, this is Dave Soberi with Patch.com. The San Fernando Valley Tournament started with 32 teams in four different locations, but now we're down to the final four here today at Alamany High School, featuring Sierra Canyon and Crespi High School. Both teams are ready, so let's go to the highlights. The Celts start the game off right when Matt Mounier gets the shooter's bounce for the tray. On the next possession, London Parantes finds Justin Rubia in the corner for the open three. But the Trailblazers answer when Marcellus Johnson somehow scores in the middle of four Celts. Then Justin Rubia penetrates, setting up London Parantes from way downtown. And the Celts are back at it again when Matt Mounier makes the great head fake and pulls up for the mid-range jumper. The Trailblazers fight back when Jamel Taylor makes the crossover and creates his own shot. But Crespi would finish the first quarter with yet another three, this time by Carter Gallup. The score, 22-7 Crespi. Now, if you want to see a play that exemplifies Crespi basketball, just watch this effort. Jordan Simmons lays out for it and gets it to London Parantes, who drives and dishes it to the sharpshooter Matt Mounier for the three. And the entire Crespi bench is excited about that one. London Parantes follows that up with a pull-up jumper. The Trailblazers try to make a comeback when Jamel Teller gets the screen from Marcellus Johnson to give him the open track. But Matt Mounier comes right back with the floater in the lane to make it 40-15 Crespi at the half. The second half starts with another turnover forced by the Crespi defense. Kristen Johnson and goes up and under for the high difficulty bucket. On the next Celt possession, the team shows its unselfishness by working the ball around until Matt Mounier finds Justin Rubia for the track. He'd finish with 16. But Jamel Teller cuts into the lead with a lightning quick crossover and hits the pull up jumper. After a trailblazer turnover, the Celts find an open Matt Mounier once again for three. He finished with 22 points and 7 rebounds. The Trailblazers ended the third quarter with a little momentum when Marcellus Johnson shows his strength inside. The score, 58-25 Crespi after three. The Trailblazers start the fourth quarter with a great pass by Julian Brooks to Jesse Howell. And then, get your popcorn ready because it's Reggie Coates time. He makes the ridiculous tip in. He finished with eight points and seven rebounds. But the Trailblazers kept fighting. Shane Harrison hits the shot in the lane, and then Jamel Taylor anticipates the pass and takes it in for the tough layup. He'd finish with 13. But it was just the day where everything went right for the Celts, capped off by this Masai Ephraim jumper. The final score, the Crespi Celts 71, and the Sierra Canyon Trailblazers 41. We're always under man. Uh, we always come in the game with at least eight people, but we're not afraid. That's how we play, and we play hard and tough, and that's how we get the wins. Same as last night. Great defense, a lot of deflections, good offense, good shot selection. It was a great team effort. We were getting really scrappy today. You know, we were all over the ball today. Wherever the ball was, we were getting the rebounds. We were just doing everything right today, especially on the defensive end. 